It's freaking cold out right now. I just piped that tee shot though. A little back night action, early morning. It is 7.23 here in Phoenix, Arizona, Papago Golf Club. You guys have seen this back nine so many times. I wanted to do the front nine, but I just can't uh, can't get out in front of the public, so we go to the back nine the majority of the times. Right there, I just teed up from the backs, but I'm gonna play this golf course from the white tee markers today. The goal, four birdies or more. So it's been a minute since I've popped on the YouTube, done a vlog like this. And to be honest, uh, I'm kind of in a different space in my golf game, golf career, so to say. So throughout this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my insights, my uh, my thoughts, and basically what 2024 looks like for uh, Kyle Mays and the Carper guys. All the the fit today is uh, by Live Forever Golf. I tell you what, I feel like I'm wearing cashmere right now with this thing. I got three layers on. Could go for a fourth, but whew. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the way I wanted to start right there. That's just awesome. Man, <laughs> oh, that's irritating. I should have probably taken just a smidgen longer to look at that putt from both sides. That thing swung hard to the left, did not see that, but all right, whatever. Shake it off, brush it off, brush the cashmere off. Look at that. Live forever golf like this. Ugh. All right, part three, let's attack. Got 155 to this pin, cold. A little breeze in too. I'm playing at least 165. I got a I got an eight iron. So as of right now, you guys may have seen on the gram that I had the PXGs in the bag. Still got the PXGs, I just need to put new shafts in them. The shafts were just a little weak, I was getting way too much spin on them, so. Today I got the P790s back in the bag, and uh, that was a uh, little fairy of a shot right there. As you may notice, the right hand low claw action I got going on. My uh, new solution to my putting. The short putts inside about seven feet. Mmm, money with it. But outside that, I'm still getting used to. Distance control is a little bit tough to get to get used to, but we're getting there, and I uh, I really think that's the uh, the ticket, the way to go. So we're gonna continue with that. I don't even know how many years I've been playing professional golf, but I'm pretty sure I'm to the point now where I'm convinced if you want to play professional golf at the highest level, Corn Ferry, PGA Tour, you got to make golf your job. 
it is damn near impossible. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's the exception that somehow finds lightning in a bottle. But if you got a job and you're trying to make it professionally, it's just not gonna happen. It's, it's, it's not gonna happen. I'm living proof of it right here. And not to say, like again, uh, there's, there's the exception, but unless I am fully committed to playing golf and I got money behind me for golf, I don't know if uh, if I'm gonna be pursuing the professional route anymore. Doesn't mean that I'm not gonna play in tournaments here and there, but I just, I, I saw it last year. Um, the competition is good, it's too good. It's it's wild how, how much better it's gotten in the last five years too. It's just, if you can't shoot three, four, five under par every single day you go out there, there's my ball right there. Um, you're done. If you're shooting even par, one under, two under, it's not going to cut it. You're going to miss cuts. You're going to lose money. And uh, yeah, that's just the way I see it right now. So where I'm at with my golf, I haven't been practicing much. been trying to save up my money a little bit more, trying to invest my money a little bit better. And uh, just play golf when I can and have fun with it. And right here it's showing. Just hit that ball in the bunker over there. And now I got about a 60-yard uh, bunker shot. Fun. All right, here we are, this is what we're looking at. See the flag just right up there. You can barely see the flag. Not only uh, am I in this bunker, but I got this tree to deal with, so I have to go underneath the bunker. Like I said, anywhere on the surface I'll take. That's actually pretty good, a little 50 degree. Oh. And we still got a big putt. So we're not gonna spend too much time reading greens today. It is what it is. I see this going up, sliding back to the left just a little bit, and at the end it's gonna go back to the right. So that's how you do it. You set it up to where, just in case you do something stupid, you already made an excuse in your head. That's a smart play. No break. Wow, he's got some speed to them. Sometimes golf just can be hard. And that's a 300 yard hole. Straight, I mean, couldn't be any more simple. And I am grinding on a eight footer for par it's golf man but uh you know with all that just being said it doesn't mean that this is the end for old mr mays here it just means that i'm taking a step back and trying to get my finances straight i really believe that you have to have your finances in order your life in order everything needs to be kind of going well in order for you to try to make it out there on tour and if not you know no big deal i love what i do i love the place that i'm at and uh you know there's always there's always stuff to be done there's always stuff to be done what that is trying to figure it out you know who knows who knows rambling right now let's go hit a tee shot ah, go that's gonna need to get lucky oh yeah, we got lucky kind of there's the pin right up there there's my ball Kind of buried just a little bit. Got about mm, six, uh, 50 yards just to carry it, get it on the green, get a putt. Even that was hit perfect, but that's still going to be too long. It's because it hits right on the down slope. Let's see. Yep. There she is. About a 30 footer.
don't know why I'm even trying to grind out these pars. I'm trying to make birdies here. I'm not trying to grind pars. Oh, these greens are slick willy right now. I do have some stuff to look forward to though this year. It's uh this year is gonna be the first year that the Arizona Open is held here at Old Papago, so looking forward to that. Definitely gonna try to play in that tournament. And I'm gonna do the US Open qualifier. I got the waste management qualifier coming up. So is this the end? No, not even close. It's just we're put we're pumping the brakes just a little bit. Come to a like I said, realization that you just you got to be making this your full-time job if you want to play golf professionally this has to be your job you can't have any other worries about finances you can't be trying to make paycheck to paycheck it just won't work I'm sorry to tell you guys if, if you're watching this and you think I'm wrong try yourself and that's not to discourage anybody from trying trust me I'm still trying I'm still gonna try to find ways to try I just, uh, whoa, that looks cool. A lot of dust going on. I just, I just, from experience, these guys are good. A lot of guys are good right now, and it is, uh, it's not getting any easier. It's a good start. Just an absolute stellar golf shot from 80 yards there. Thought I'd be a little bit more in the fairway, but you know, that was no excuse. Let's chip it in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, gonna need the bird in the last four. Oh, I mean, I'm playing from the fucking white tees for freak's sake. Ah, oh, come on, Kyle. This game is frustrating. But you turn that frustration into positivity, sometimes some good results can happen. Come on. Uh, I mean, I'm playing from the fucking white tees for freak's sake. Ah, come on, Kyle. This game is frustrating. But you turn that frustration into positivity, sometimes some good results can happen. Come on. Oh, I will say my favorite club in my bag, two favorite clubs in my bag, three favorite clubs in my bag. My putter, I do love, I, even though I'm not making much right now, I love the way I'm putting with that thing. My driver, got the G430. Best driver I ever hit. There's not even a comparison. I didn't even want to tell you guys just because it's that good of a driver. Everybody, Once everybody hits it, they're going to figure it out. Now, I haven't hit any of the new current stuff, so I can't really speak on that, but the old stuff, 430 by far. You can hit it anywhere in the face and it goes. It goes relatively in the direction that you need to. Like on 12, terrible swing, still was able to find it. It's a good thing. And then lastly, my wedge, my, as you saw in that last hole, my chipping. I finally figured out exactly what I need to be doing with my chipping. It's What's really frustrating is that was probably one of my weakest part of my games coming into last year. And I figured something out, heard a little bit something from Xander Shoffley, heard a little bit something from Phil Mickelson, and uh, kind of put that two together, that mixture together, and made my own little mixture. And my chipping has become, I mean, it's night and day from what it used to be. Now I just gotta get the rest of the game. The, the irons is what it is. We're, we're, we're having some issues with the irons. I love my P790s. But there's just sometimes like a whole 11. 
Ric Flair weak right shot. Now, I know it's not the irons, my swing, but we gotta figure something out. All right, middle of the green. All right, this would be huge for the team here. really discouraging to want to post a video when you just play like absolute garbage doing a display like that ah god it's frustrating man just absolutely frustrating i got over that first putt and said you know what you're not leaving this one short you're gonna make this one I'm very confident in the first putt rolls out to five six feet above the hole downhill slider Probably should have taken a little bit more time on that, but the frustrations kicked in. We're rushing through and go ahead and just miss that one for a three putt par. Awesome, awesome. I try to be as real as possible in these vlogs. It'd be, it's real easy for a vlogger or a golfer or a YouTuber like myself here to want to just go redo some of those shots, but I've committed to doing a real blog, golf blog. This is what you see is what you get. My frustrations are, are showing. My bad golf is showing. I'm playing from the fucking white tees and I am even par. Three, three, two, three putts. A few missed greens, but you know, it's, it's, it's part of it. As I always say to people, that's golf. There's gonna be your good days and there's gonna be your bad days. I just gotta, just, just gotta find that little zone. Just gotta find the zone, get comfortable, execute. There we go. All right, I took a look from both sides here, got it lined up. I just got trusted. You're not gonna lose your mind. You're not gonna lose your mind today. Now we're just thinking about it. Now it may be damn near impossible to make a burger today. Pressing too hard to make one. You can't press in this game. You just gotta let it happen. But sometimes that may be one of the hardest things to do in golf, is just let it happen. How do you just let something happen? How do you not care about something that you care about so much? I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't figured out the state. Maybe if I had, I mean, I, I can see it if you have like so much money in the bank, maybe. 
that you just don't care because you could do anything you want. Say, I mean, you say you have a million dollars in the bank, you go play golf and you're like, fuck it, I don't feel good right now. I'm gonna take my jet and I'm gonna go fly down to the Bahamas. I'm gonna have a great time. Boom, mind reset, I don't know. I'm just thinking, that may not be the solution. You may have a bunch of money and you may uh, do that and you still suck at golf and you still are frustrated. So, let me just, ah, let's, let's find a birdie here. There's that, uh, there's that swipe, that iron swipe that I'm talking about. Weak right shot. That, that shot pisses me off more than maybe any golf shot that I hit. Besides the three putt, look at this sweet car pass here at Papago. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the shit shot that I'm, I've been battling lately. And it's just a lack of, uh, Lack of commitment. I don't want that ball to go left, so I come out of it just at the last second, and that's what it, that's what it feels like. All right, I'm chipping this. I'm chipping this one in right now. Didn't even bring the putter for this one. That's how confident I am. See that? You see that bounce? Thing hit a something and kicked it straight left. Look at that. All right, 96 yards. I'm just gonna chip this. Go in. Go in. Oh, did that just lift? That just lift? Oh, that's about, oh, maybe two, three feet there. It hit right behind it, sucked back a little bit. I thought from back there it almost went in. I will say that was, those were my two best swings of the day right there. You can see my pitch mark right there. I'll fix that in a second. We're just going to go ahead and try to terry tap this in with just one hand not even thinking about it so there it is there it is right there finally took me nine holes from the white tees to make a birdie one under par yeah it's golf man it's golf looking forward to this year though some good stuff gonna happen there's some there's some good stuff you guys have a good day thanks for watching